even gone up to the 950 to hold that capacity. When I fish for sailfish, I use monofilament because they go, there we go, we're on. That's a tarpon. Look at that, airing out. So right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna reel this other bait in because I can't handle a double header. I clean up the deck a little bit, pop this forward. It's coming up, coming up by the sailboats. Now what I'm gonna do now is we're getting close, dangerously close to the bridge. I gotta get I gotta go chase this guy. He doesn't like what's going on here. We're gonna be going through the bridge. See now you have a do or die situation. You gotta make the call. He's definitely wanting to go to the bridge. So do I stop him? Can I stop him? That's the question. Yeah, I think it's bridge time. Yeah, well he's kinda of going under the bridge now. I'm gonna to try to shoot a, I'm gonna to try to shoot under the bridge. Thank you. I'm kinda of tangled on you a little bit. Yeah. Tarpon. Okay, now we're back under the bridge. Well guys, that's called uh, high impact fishing. Getting mainline wrapped around us. You talk about fishing in those city limits. Look at this, downtown Miami. That's right, just one more obstacle. That's how you do it. He's gonna pop up here, you see him there? Nice fish. Look at the size of that thing. Over a hundred. There he is, coming around the corner. Woo! Man, that thing's a chunk. Bigger than I thought. Okay, a boat, a kayak, three jet skis, and a boat full of SWAT teams here. Big fish, light tackle. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab one time, it'll probably fall off. Probably break off at that point. Gonna stretch him out. See? They got big mouths. He's probably gonna jump in my face right now. Go for it. The hook is out. Took that hook out real easy. And we got ourselves a hundred plus pound hundred plus pound tarpon. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Look at that! Look at this! We got a party! Yeah, tarpon. Nice. Okay, so now that you see me doing this, reviving a fish like this, you can't assume that there's no shark that's about to come by and shoot out and literally take my arm off. So when you're in an area that's shark infested, you should always be aware of, it, aware of that. There are bull sharks, there are hammerheads in this area. As I said that, I got scared because I heard a splash. <laughs> and um, so you gotta be aware of that, but it's hard to get out of the way. So I'm just trying to revive this guy. I think he's good. We could probably kick it out of gear. And I'm gonna turn him out this way, okay? Once we're out of gear, I'll do it. All right, ready? One, two, three. Thanks for watching, guys.